Good evening, everybody, and welcome to our Year 11 Leavers celebration for class of 2020. I'm going to start this evening's proceedings by handing over to Kettering Baclue Academy's principal, Dino Di Salvo, who has a short message for you, and I will see you later to present some awards. Good evening, Year 11. Good evening to the families and good evening to all staff. And first thing, I hope you're well and absolutely gutted that we're not here in person being able to sort of deliver the celebration assembly. It's been a really unique year. And I think one we're never going to forget. And more importantly, you're a year group we're never going to forget. Absolutely been amazing this year. And um, it's been a testament to sort of your dedication, hard work and how you conduct, conducted yourself all year. And I remember having an assembly with you in September talking about what a short year it was going to be in terms of exams and no one could foresee what was going to happen. But you've been absolutely brilliant. And, um, you know, we apologise, you know, what's happened to you. This, you know, I feel absolutely, you know, really sad that you've not had your prom and you've not had your sort of the end of school. But this is a way of being able to celebrate your year and give messages. And it's, it's quite a fun evening. And I've got some more messages to give at the end of the presentation. But please enjoy this evening. Enjoy the sort of celebrations, the moments. And, um, and I'll speak to you at the end. I'm going to pass over to Miss Omalash, who's got a small message for you. Okay, year 11. So firstly, um, thank you for being here. Um, it's a very strange, surreal moment. Um, I am going to be my positive best. Um, I will try to make sure it doesn't feel like a Monday morning assembly. Um, I will try to talk as slow as possible. And, you know, I'll, I'll, as I said, we'll, we'll, we'll try to keep it nice and sweet. Um, I remember coming in to see you at the end of year 10 and looking around and there was such a mix of characters. Um, you had students there who were completely focused and ready for year 11. You had students there who had no idea what was waiting for them. And you probably had students who thought it'll be fine or I'm not too fussed. There was a big, big mix of people. And what I remember saying was that we had to hit the ground running. We had to get ready for the September. And you did. And by and large, you have been absolutely amazing. Um, every single student rose to the challenge. And there's some students who, for the whole time of year 11, I might only have been able to say, good morning, how's things? Because you were just so focused on what you were wanting to do, um, where you wanted to go and what you wanted to achieve. And all you really needed or wanted was staff to say hi, staff to be there for you, staff to support you with your learning you didn't need anything extra. Um, so to those students who maybe only spoke to me two or three times, you know, I wish we'd had longer. I wish that I'd had an opportunity to see you uh, prepare for your exams. Um, and it would have been amazing. So again, I wish you all the best because, you know, you are the students who maybe, you know, just go not unnoticed, but you just keep going. You are focused and you are an absolute credit to you and your family. There's other students who do need more, um, and we certainly think that we did do that. And my idea has always been that as long as you meet me in the middle, that we will do whatever we possibly can to make sure you succeed. And there was not a single student who did not at least meet in the middle. Um, there has been times when, you know, we want, I want to pull my hair out, of course there was, um, but you always came through. Your attendance, your attitude to learning, even on the off days, there was children who would say, do you know what, I just need to try harder or I need a bit of help, etc., etc." Um, and that's an amazing thing. There are some funny moments. And I think if this was an assembly, um, I probably would have went my normal way by now, but I'm not. Um, I don't want, I, I can't obviously name names in this situation, but the, the funny things was you had the, the boys who thought that, you know, they needed a toilet break at the end of every lesson and they would try to sneak past in the maths corridor and it never worked. Um, you had the students who used to sit outside the art barn against the, the glass. They were a great bunch of girls and every time I saw them I was petrified because I hate heights. Um, you had the three boys who at break and lunch would find it hilarious to sort of stand near the banister because again that would petrify me. 
you had one student who thought it was hilarious to say, oh, let's test how well they're made and things like that. This was why my one fear, basically. Um, and there's so many other hilarious moments and so many students who really did absolutely shine. Even the quietest of, quietest of students, there were so many of you that just absolutely flourished in year 11. So many funny students, so many fantastic personalities and fantastic parents as well at parents' evening who just want their, their children to do their very, very best. Um, and I think the testament to everybody how well they were working up until obviously we had to close. I would also add the other group that I was going to talk about was the, the boys that sat um, in the canteen at break. Um, you've never seen a more uncool bunch who thought they were cool, but it was funny, you know, get your jackets off and then they would sit and they would, you know, sort themselves out. But again, it just made a whole year group. There were so many characters, so many different personalities. But as I said, you were amazing um, in many, many ways. Um, I, before I move, go on to Mr. Henton, um, I would say that, you know, I come back to the fact that I always thought I was a nice person and I thought my assemblies um, were trying to sort of motivate you and, and make you do well. And one student walked past me and, and they didn't mean it. And they said, Miss, as nice as you think you are, sometimes we do question whether or not you have a heart. And they went it funnily, but I must admit, you were absolutely amazing. Um, you, everything about you, like I said, you rose to the challenge. And when there was obstacles, you did meet in the middle, you did try your hardest, and you were an absolute credit to yourselves and your families. Um, so like I say, I'll hand you back now to Mr. Henton, but I hope you enjoy this. Mr. Henton, it's back to you. Thank you very much, Miss Omalash. Um, it's a great pleasure for me to act as the Master of Ceremonies for this evening. Uh, we've booked out this fantastic studio here just for this celebration evening this evening. So just to make all of our um, viewers and listeners aware, particularly those of you that are in Year 11, we will be giving away just over £2,500 in gift vouchers this evening. And hopefully um, that will be something that will act as some consolation for our students who were unable to enjoy a typical end of year 11. So I'm going to ask my um, assistant to move forwards one slide so that we can find out what our first awards are going to be. So our first awards are for those students who have exemplary school career attendance. What we mean by that is that these are students who since they joined us on their very first day at KBA in year seven, five years ago, they have had 99% or better attendance during that period of time. And I can tell you that these people will all be receiving 50 pounds each in gift vouchers. So I'll explain towards the end how they will make their way to you, but 50 pounds each to the following students who have 99% attendance or better since that very first day five years ago in year seven. So in alphabetical order, our recipients of a School Career Attendance Award are Oliver Anderson, Isabel Banfill, Alicia Brownless, Kate Bruce, Ryan Carpenter, Joshua Donalek, Ben Garton, Ellie Grew, Danny Hogarth, Sean Ide, Kathleen Lawson, Rebecca List, Poppy Madison, Hannah Maycock, Daniel McCown, Nathan Mears, Hallie Monteith, Sam Morrison, Gracie Murray, Precious Asifo, Jack Redihoff, Nancy Ryan, Charlotte Smith, Nula Stone, Oliver Titcomb, and Dylan Welch. So to all of you students, congratulations. That 99% attendance or better is something that will stand you in very good stead in your future. We'll make reference to it in any references we're asked to write for you. And 50 pounds is its way to each of you. So, can I ask my assistant to move us forward to the next slide, please? 
So we have our first special award, which is for the student who has been nominated as our most improved student. So this is the student whose staff feel has made the most significant improvement since the first day that they joined Kettering Buckler Academy. This winner will be receiving £75 in gift vouchers as well as a certificate. And rather than read out the name of this winner, we're going to go to a short video, which hopefully won't be pausing as often as this one is of me, so that we can see who has won that award. Let's play the video. beautiful morning on Nelson Street as we go to knock on the door of this year's most improved student. Follow me. Number six. Will they be home? I hope so. Hello, you are right? How are you? Is, um, is Lachlan there? Lachlan, um, we just wanted to come and see you uh, this lovely morning to just let you know that you've been awarded the most improved student of your year group this year. And we've got a little summit for you. We've got a certificate for you. And some gift vouchers. How are you? You look excited to be receiving this award. <laughs> Lachlan, it's been an absolute pleasure over the past five years and we wish you every luck future and we look forward to seeing you soon. Right buddy, congratulations. We can't shake hands but we'll do that. There we go. We'll see you soon. Congratulations Lachlan. No worries. See you soon. Thank you. Bye bye. So congratulations to Lachlan who was the winner of our most improved student award. Can we move to the next slide please? So we are now going to make five awards to students who have been nominated for, by staff for showing our core value of respect um, for the majority of the time that they've been with us at KBA. So each of these students will be receiving £50 in gift vouchers. So that's £250 in gift vouchers being given away right here to the following students. Alex Simperu. Gabriel Riley, Jack Ryan, Rosie Atu, and Philip Nazar. So to you guys, a round of applause. Congratulations. You've all shown that core value, that vital core value of respect throughout your time at KBA. We're very proud of you. And we hope that when you receive that 50 pounds, that you are able to buy yourself something special as a treat and a reward. Next slide, please. So we're now going to move on to a presentation for our Young Hero of the Year. And again, myself and Mr. Freyer went out in the July sunshine to make this presentation. And we're going to see who the winner of the Young Hero of the Year award is right now. Okay, um, we're here for our next award. The weather is holding up. Uh, we're lucky in that. But we're now going to go and see our young hero of the year. Follow me. Let's hope she's in. Hello, Summer. Yeah. How are you? I'm good. How are you coping? <laughs> I'm alright. Yeah, good. Um, I popped by this morning to let you know that um, we're really pleased to award you the Young Hero of the Year Award um, for Year 11 this year. And I'm going to try and get this out without getting it wet. But the award itself, a certificate for you, and um, some gift vouchers as well. And the award is in recognition of everything that you've done both inside the academy and outside the academy. So we're really pleased to give it you this year. Um, it's been a pleasure working with you over the past five years. Have you joined us in sixth year next year? Hopefully. Hopefully. 
Well, have a lovely summer. Take care, and we look forward to seeing you in September. Thank you. All right, thank you. Thank See you soon. Bye bye, summer. Thank you. So, well done to those five people who have won the award for that core value of. Uh, sorry for to um, summer for being the young hero of the. Year. I just um, caught myself out there. As you can see in the video, we've spent so much money on the um, gift certificates this year that we um, had to use a bit of a makeshift folder for handing them out, which um, became quite damaged in the weather yesterday. But we're now going to move on to our next presentation. So this is now the students who have been nominated for the core value of determination. And um, these are students who have shown that core value throughout the time at Kettering Buclew Academy. And again, they've been nominated by staff and they will all be receiving 50 pounds in gift vouchers. And our core values determination awards winners are Barbara Quarty, Attila Francis, Molly Palmer, Lily Breakspear Cox, and Sky Lily Kay. So congratulations to you guys. You deserve that um, recognition. I know some of you personally, and I know that you've shown great determination throughout your career at KBA. And again, when you receive that 50 pounds, I hope you're able to enjoy that and buy yourself a nice reward. Next slide, please. So we're now going to move on to our Sporting Hero Award. But I just want to make one quick mention of another Sporting Hero in Year 11 who won the Best in Everyone Award for the Year 10 to 13 um, Sportsman of the Year in the recent United Learning Best in Everyone Awards. So there were over 500 nominations for students across the country. And we were very proud to say that Connor Napier in Year 11 won the Sportsman of the Year Award for um, the Best in Everyone Awards for United Learning. So Connor, um, well done to you. You're in the newspaper this week. I don't know if you've seen that already, but congratulations from myself, Mr. DeSalvo, and everybody at KBA. But let's find out who Kettering Buclew Academy's Sporting Hero of the Year is. Let's watch the video. As you can see, the weather is holding up for us as we look to give out our next award of the evening. Um, this award is for Sports Person of the Year. It's someone who has not just excelled within school, within sport, but also outside of the, um, the academy. So let's go and find out who we're giving Sports Person of the Year award to this year. Come on, follow me. Oh, we've got someone. Here we go. Here he is. Joseph, how are you? Yeah, good, thank you. Joe, um, just popping by this morning to... Uh, Joe, this is the first time you've ever been taller um, To let you know that you are being awarded with Sports Person of the Year for Year 11. Oh, okay, thank so you. So there is a certificate oh, thank and you. a bunch of vouchers there for you. Um, obviously, I've got to know you very well over the past two or three years, and I know that your wakeboarding is, is a big part of your life. Um, just from us, well done, and, and we wish you every success in the future. How are you? Where are you at with regards to your next competition? Uh, it's going to be like video competition where we're basically sending our competition like passes online because obviously all COVID-19 stuff. So is that in the bath? Do you just do that in the bath on your way? No. <laughs> <laughs> so you'll go locally and do that and then you'll send that in will you? Yeah. We'll, yeah, we'll send that in probably in about June. Yeah, uh, yeah. Sorry, July, July. Brilliant. Well it's been a real pleasure to kind of watch how you've progressed over the past few years and we look forward to seeing you back in September. Thank you so much. Lovely. See you soon, Joe. Take care. Thank Bye. you. So congratulations to Joe Humphreys, who was our sporting hero. We were very lucky. We had some incredibly talented um, sportsmen, sportswomen in year 11. But Joe has received that international as well as national recognition and is a worthy winner of that um, award. Now, let's just move ourselves forwards onto the next set of awards.
Now, we are going to, in a second, read out the names of our five ambition winners. But before I do that, I just want to draw attention to three other students who have shown respect, determination and ambition throughout their school careers. These are three students who joined Kettering Baclue Academy, not in year seven, but in reception. And this is the end of their 11th year at the academy. And during that 11 years, they have attendance of 99% or better. So that is an, that's quite an amazing um, attendance record over that period of time. And I am proud to say that these students are going to be receiving £75 each in gift vouchers from us at the Academy to say thank you for the respect, the determination, the ambition you've shown throughout your time at KBA. And the winners of those awards are Alfie Draper, Daniel Edwards and Michael Hilliard. So to you three young gentlemen, a big thank you from me to achieve over 99% attendance over that period of time is truly amazing. So let's think about who our five winners are for the core value of ambition. Now these are students again who have been selected from nominations submitted by staff. They will be receiving 50 pounds in gift vouchers each and the winners of the core value Ambition Awards are Albina Benny, Damini Chotai, Lola McManus, Alicia Petrescu, and Elena, sorry, Eleanor Angelescu. So to you five, again, fantastic achievement. Well done. We know that you are all going places. You've got that core value of ambition that's rooted inside you. And we look forward to hearing of your great successes in the future. Let's move on to our next award. OK, so I went a bit early on that one before. We've already had the school career attendance. So again, that was awarded to Alfie, Daniel and Michael. I do apologize for that. Um, but if we can go on now to the next slide, we'll have our next winner. OK, so what I'm going to do is before we announce our Student of the Year award, we have got some messages from staff for year 11. So staff here are going to be saying their farewells and their goodbyes. They weren't able to do that in school, but hopefully you'll be able to hear from them now with the goodbye messages from your staff. Let's play the video. The class 2020 and year 11 you've been an amazing year group it's been absolute privilege being your principal for the last five years and i want to say good luck to every all the students and for to the future and look forward to sharing results with you on results day take care hi year 11 i just want to say um, you're an amazing year group i wish you all the best and if in my previous address i went off on a tangent became a little bit negative so unlike me, just remember my assemblies. But seriously, you are amazing. You will do great things in the future. Good luck. Hello, Year 11. Just want to say well done on completing the year. But a special big shout out to my brilliant maths class. Okay, so Luke, Albina, Jaden. Congratulations, Year 11. We wish that we could celebrate with you in person, but we wish you all the luck in the world. Take care. Harley. Rochelle, Raynell. Year 11, I wish you all the best in your next chapter. Thank you for all of the memories and good luck. Bulldog 2. Congratulations for completing Year 11. I want to wish you all good luck in whatever you decide to go into in the future. I'm sure I'll see some of you around, but if not, enjoy your summer and good luck. Kira. Stop talking, will you? Tia, Kelsey, Kieran. Two on, mate. Sorry. Hey, Year 11. Uh, best of luck for the future. Stay in touch. GCSEP lot. You've been legends the past three years. Going to miss you. 
and I uh, look forward to seeing you all soon. Take care. Kelsey, I'm only here because I'm sick to death of seeing Liverpool banners all over people's houses. Okay, so good luck to everybody. Congratulations on making it through year 11. Uh, you've been a pleasure to teach over the last two years. Um, we've had a really good laugh together. And uh, whether you're going or staying, uh, good luck for the future. Congratulations to all year 11 students. Many great times had, uh, especially in my Spanish class. Best wishes to all of you for the future. Hi Year 11, it's been an absolute pleasure teaching you all year. Uh, Favourite memory is finding out that Nancy has a secret love of Kanye West. Hi Year 11, just a quick message to say good luck to you all, particularly my original BNT group, my dance class, my netball girls and of course my BTEC group. Hi Year 11, just want to say a big well done to all of you for all the great work you've done this year and the fantastic results you're going to achieve. Uh, it'll be lovely to see lots of you back in the sixth form next year and to any of those leaving us I wish you all the best in the future Hola chicos I know it's a real shame that we can't do this personally however just want to wish you all all the best for the future and it's been an absolute pleasure teaching you all Adios Summer Meal Deal Kevlar Morgan The Annihilator Eagle Year 11, I just want to wish you all the best for the future. You've been such a wonderful year group to teach, and it's been such a pleasure to teach so many of you. Daria, Charlotta, and Connor. Hi, Textile students. Thank you for being such a lovely bunch of students. We have loved teaching you over the last three years. We are so proud of all that you have achieved, and we want like to, to wish you well, well for the future. future. Hello there, Year 11. Just wanted to wish you the very best of luck in whatever you do in your future. Have a great summer. Stay very, very safe. One of you needs to remember that I need front row seats at Murrayfield. You know who you are. Have a great summer, everyone. Take good care. Hi, German GCSE lot. A quick juicy from Flo Thompson. Things I remember from our lesson. One person always cheated in the auction game. Um, Josh always won the steal the card game and Igor, I still haven't bought that belt. Good luck all of you in your future and um, all the best from for Thompson. Tschüss! Good luck Year 11. Looking forward to seeing lots of you in our KBA 6 form next year. Bye, have an amazing summer. Hi Year 11, um, just wanted to wish you the best of luck for the future and well done on what's been a very very tricky year and I look forward to seeing as many of you as possible at 6th form. Bye! Good bye, Year 11s. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Don't you worry, those uh, speaking videos from Year 7 will get to you somehow. You know who you are. Good luck to you all. Bye. Year 11, it's been a pleasure to teach you philosophy and ethics. I'd like to wish you all the best for the future, and I'm sure it will be sparkling. Congratulations for completing Year 11, and good luck with the future. Hola, chicos y chicos. Just wanted to say it's been a pleasure teaching you all. Good luck in the future. Adios. Hi Year 11, it's been an absolute pleasure to get to know you over your time at the Academy and I wish you every success for the future, wherever your future takes you. Take care. Hi Year 11, I just wanted to say that it was a privilege to work with such an amazing group of students. It was an absolute pleasure and I wish you all the very best. Good luck. Hi Year 11, best wishes on your new adventures from the job department and me. Good luck Year 11, you're a great year group, even if the football team did always question my long ball tactics as a manager, keep in touch. Okay Year 11, I'd just like to wish you all the very best for the future, you've worked really hard, you deserve all your success, well done and good luck. Goodbye Year 11, it's been great, goodbye from me and goodbye from Craig and from Dave. Goodbye, good luck. Hi Year 11 art students, I think you've been absolutely amazing. I miss you loads and I hope to see you at some point soon. Take care. Bye. Hi Year 11. I didn't have the opportunity to teach all of you but it was an absolute pleasure. Best of luck in the future and make sure you grab every opportunity you get with both hands. Hi Year 11. It's been an absolute pleasure to teach some of you and to be a form tutor to you for the last two years. Um, Best of luck in all that you do. I'm sure you'll be fantastic at it. Thanks. Bye. Hello Year 11, Mr Thress here. I just wanted to say 
well done for succeeding and getting through the last five years at KBA. You've been an absolute pleasure to teach and you are a credit to yourselves. I wish all of you the very best for the future. Stay safe and take care. Bye now. Hi Year 11, you've had the most difficult end to your school year that I've ever known, so I know you can do even more amazing things. Good luck for the future and I'll see some of you soon. Good evening Year 11, um, you should be so proud of your achievements throughout your entire time at KBA and I wish you all the luck in the future. Great, well done, good luck. Year 11 English, it was all going so beautifully, wasn't it? Um, I love teaching you. Um, I wish you a brilliant summer and look forward to seeing many of you again in September. Hello Year 11, Mr Major here. Um, must say I'm quite disappointed not to be able to say goodbye to you in person. But what I would like to say is I've taught most of you over the years. All the very best of the future and I desperately hope to see some of you next year. Bye! Well done everybody for making it through to the end of Year 11. Remember you're capable of amazing things. All the very, very best wishes for a wonderful future. Hi Year 11, you've been a wonderful year group and I wish you every success for the future. I do hope that we get to see many of you back in Year 12, uh, the sixth form. To my two Spanish groups, hasta luego y mucha suerte. Adios. Everton, Everton, Everton. Everton, Everton, Everton. This is a quick message from me, Mr. MBA, as you complete this part of your journey at KBA. Lots of things will change, but many things will stay the same. You are all champions. Don't play the occasion, play the game. As the best version of you, make your days count, don't just count the days. Wishing you every success for the future and the paths you take. Thank you to all of the staff who gave up their time to record those messages. I'm sure um, that there'll be lots of students and parents and staff who are watching this this evening who will appreciate the opportunity to watch those again. So we will post that video to our YouTube channel so that you can go back and watch that again at another time. But again, thank you very much to the staff who gave up their time to submit those videos. Now. Before we move on, there is another award that I would like us to um, focus on now, and that is for our student who actually has the best attendance record at KBA with 100% attendance and no lates at all since this young man joined us at the very start of year seven. In keeping with 100% attendance, he is winning £100 in gift vouchers. And let's see how he reacted when myself and Mr. Freya went to give him the good news. Join us on a wonderful morning here in Kettering as we hand out another one of our awards. This award is going to go to a young man who has not had a single day off school during the time at KBA and never had a single late. So let's go and find out who this is. Oh, we'll go around the back. And here he is. Hey! Here he is, Kieran Hawthorne. Kieran, um, it gives us great pleasure to award you with uh, the best attendance record during your time at KBA. 100% attendance, never had a day off, never had a late, and we said on our way in here, it's no coincidence, Kieran, that during your time at KBA, you've been an absolute legend. Um, you've been very supportive of me when I was in my role as head of house. You support everything that we do at the academy, and from the bottom of my heart, Kieran, it's been an absolute pleasure having you here at KBA, and we wish you every luck for the future. So, we've got a little certificate for you, and 100 pound in vouchers. Yeah. Now, that's probably more than your brother's had three birthdays, so make sure you rub it on his face. Um, but honestly, Kieran, it's been an absolute pleasure and, and privilege to have you at KBA. Are you joining us next year? Six yeah. oh, we've got two more years of years. Uh, no days off, otherwise, we have to take that back. No, but honestly, Kieran, you deserve that. To have 100 attendance and never get a single late is a, is a huge achievement. And um, well done, and thank you. So. 
Yeah, that's a well-deserved recognition there for um, Kieran. 100% attendance over five years with um, perfect punctuality is something to be extremely proud of. And let's move ourselves forwards now onto the next slide. Okay, so our final award is for the student who has been voted as our student of the year. And again, in a second, we're going to see um, this person receive their award. But can I just say, we're getting a, a few cruel comments on um, social media claiming that Mr. Freya is wearing Paddington's anorak. Can I just confirm that that is not Paddington's anorak that he is wearing? Um, it's one he bought specially for the rain yesterday from the Army and Navy store. So let's see who won our Student of the Year award. back again the weather is still beautiful this time we're here to hand out the student of the year award at Timpson Close Kettering let's go and see who our winner is follow me oh we've got someone hello how are you Good. the chambers how are you um Caitlin how are you you're right yeah missed my lessons yeah. uh, we're gonna stay here because we have a massive umbrella but we thought we would um, pop by this morning to let you know um, that your your teachers have voted you as student of the year for year 11. So I'm going to hand this to you quickly so it doesn't get too wet. There is your certificate and there are some different for you as well. Now obviously this is something that we would have done at prom and unfortunately we have going on this year but we just wanted to say thank you um, for everything that you've done during your time at KBA. For me in particular you've been an absolute shining star the student and we wish you the best of luck in the future. I think we're seeing you at sixth form. Brilliant. So we've got two more years yeah. with Renu. But have a lovely summer and congratulations, Kate. All right, we'll see you soon. See you later. <laughs> Okay, and congratulations to Caitlin. She's um, a young lady who frequently goes under the radar, but she has an exemplary um, attitude towards work and towards school. And we're very much looking forward to seeing her return to our sixth form in September. Now, if we move forwards to the next slide, Before I hand back to Mr. DeSalvo to conclude this evening's celebration, I just want to let everybody know who's watching that if you want to see some of your staff, some of our amazing teachers in action for the virtual lip sync battle competition, you can do that by tuning into our YouTube channel at 12.30 tomorrow lunchtime. That link has been sent out, but please don't miss it. It is an amazing um, example of how the staff at KBA really are the best staff at any school, anywhere. So, Mr. DeSalvo, back to you to conclude this evening's celebration meeting. Thank you, Mr. Henton. And I just want to say I hope you enjoyed the evening. And I'm noticing there's a bit of a lag as I speak, so I apologise in advance. But I've been very fortunate to see some of the some of you grow from reception all the way through through to year eleven. And I just want to say that we really look forward to results day. And as an academy, we have done everything in our power to ensure that all students get the results results they deserve. And I just want us to really remember that, you know, the, the values we stand for in respect, ambition, determination, and whatever you do in the future, please aim high, you know, really dream big. And we always talk about working hard in everything you do. And please, you know, when you're out there, take every opportunity that comes your way because the school will always support you. Even when you leave this academy, those of you stand in the sixth form, that's fantastic. And we want as many students staying on in our sixth form as possible. But those of you, you, those, those you leaving us, please, please be assured that, you know, we're always there to support you, to help you, phone calls, visits, anything we can do, this academy will always be there for you. And just want to say good luck for the future, best wishes, and we'll see you really soon. And all love from everyone at the academy. Take care and good night.
Um, it's up to me now just to give out a couple of final messages to our year 11 students. So if you are um, one of the students who is um, lucky enough to have been um, read out tonight as an award winner, we can let you know that we will be delivering those vouchers on Monday of next week. So we'll try and get around to as many people as we can to deliver those vouchers. If we can't get to you, they will be making I was just speaking to you about hoodies, so for year 11, you can come into school to collect your hoodies if you ordered them between 10 and 12 on Monday. That's Monday the 13th of July. Now, can we please ask that it is individual students only who come to collect their hoodies? So please don't bring any other members of the family and do not come in groups. We'll have members of SLT at the gates ready to meet you and we'll be letting you through individually to collect your hoodies. Once again, from myself, from Mr. DiSalvo, from SLT, the local governing body, and for all of those brilliant staff at KBA, we hope you've enjoyed this evening. We hope that you have an amazing future. We look forward to seeing you either back in our sixth form or when we are out and about in the future. So this is me signing off and saying, Year 11, it's been a pleasure. Good night.